city commission as uh, was just described to you took an action to adopt a resolution supporting the roundabout uh, presentation that, uh, that was attended and um, proposed at the stakeholders meeting earlier. Uh, in addition to that, the city um, appropriated mon monies to acquire property that would accommodate the expansion of the road at the A1A. Um, we spent probably uh, two around, somewhere around $2 million for that activity. We've also purchased property um, as you come down uh, ISB uh, between the bridge and uh, Peninsula, uh, spending probably another $2 million. And uh, we've, uh, as described in the presentation previously, we spent $750,000 to uh, assist in the design cost of this project. Uh, we were um, we worked closely with the uh, Florida Department of Transportation on the lane widths and issues associated with uh, the joint use um, travel lane uh, for bicycles and pedestrians. Uh, so we've been engaged in this project from the very beginning. We worked with our legislative delegation, <coughs> Chamber of Commerce, all uh, working toward a, a goal to have this facility uh, completed and funded. Uh, so it's been, it's not been a short project. It's been a project where we, we had funding and then we didn't have funding and then we uh, had design and um, we've had a lot of questions and efforts and, and the only thing that we know for sure right now, we have a design that is proposed at 60% and uh, has had support of the city commission, support of the stakeholders uh, in its meetings and uh, and we don't really want to delay the state's uh, activities in moving forward with the project. And if you were to consider uh, significant deviations from the plans, I'm sure it would incur uh, a delay in whatever was to uh, ultimately be constructed, if any, at all. So with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions anybody has. Uh, 